Guys, we're back here with Ro Aaron, and she is the Guts Program Manager with the YWCA. So tell people at home, what is Guts? Yeah, good question. Guts is Girls Using Their Strengths, and we're a youth um, empowerment and leadership program for girls and um, also gender diverse youth ages 9 to 18. And we do, um, during the school year, we do school-based programs after school and during lunch. Um, we have trade exploration workshops and summer outdoor adventure trips. Cool. And you also, like uh, I saw online that you had an orientation, which is yeah. it's already happened, but you're always looking for volunteers to like be woman leaders uh, of the future, right? Yes. Yeah, and we're actually looking, still looking for a few more volunteers, so if people are interested, um, definitely get a hold of us. Um, and basically the volunteer role is um, we recruit um, people to mentor young people in the schools. So the semester um, usually happens, there's 11 weeks in the fall and 11 weeks in the spring, and it's a once a week commitment after school um, or during lunch. Cool. And it's really fun to get to work with a small group and do fun, kind of like discovering your strengths and talking about leadership skills and um, issues that young people face. Yeah, uh, and what, what, what is the, what are one of the more common issues that you hear from the youth? Um, I would say, I mean, relationships, uh, you know, adolescence is really tough. They're trying to figure out, um, you know, friendship dynamics yeah. and I think bullying and um, just the ins and outs of friendships is probably one of our biggest. But I would say especially for people raised as girls in our society, um, body image and self-esteem is also one that we see quite often and one that we um, want to address and just yeah. normalize for them. Yeah, I mean, like, one of the things I definitely noticed, like, I do a couple after-school programs, mm -hmm. and it's so weird because it's like you see, like, some kids are just like, I don't want to work with that kid because I, I hate them. And it's like, okay. And a lot of times it's like they're, a lot of them are fairly forward when it comes to yeah. how they feel about each other. And like, at that age, it's like ambition. They're just like, they're not afraid from, yeah. of anything. So it's a lot easier to kind of understand where they're coming from. But a lot of times I think the one thing that I always notice about kids is that they're usually kind of ignored. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they, they, because they talk a lot and really, really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of really hard to pick up on a lot of things here and there. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and I think they're still trying to figure things out. It's their first time like really, you know, understanding and kind of exploring social hierarchy and power. And there's not a lot of support for them in terms of people who know have experience with right. this and um through this experience um you're, you're kind of looking for people who kind of exemplify um kind of like leadership roles in the community right yeah and that could look like you know somewhat like the sort of traditional leadership it could look like um even just being really passionate about something in your life and um interest or leadership doesn't have to be someone who's really extroverted and like excited to talk it can be someone who's more quiet and um we want to encourage that that looks like leadership too Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So um, where can people find more information about this? Um, you can find out more information about this and also just the GUTS program and the YWCA at our website, ywcaofmissoula.org. And I also want to give a shout out. We're doing, through the GRIT program, which is our skilled trades workshops, we're doing a one-day um, kind of exploratory trades workshop at Missoula College. It's actually open to um, all ages, 14 and up. And it's for women and um, non-binary, gender diverse folks who are interested in the trade. So people who have traditionally been left out of that, um, you know, left out or not encouraged to um, seek these skills. Um, so that's coming up February 8th, and it's going to be all day. You can find out more information on our website. Cool. And I also know that uh, YWC does a lot of uh, programs for a lot of families here mm -hmm. in town as well. A lot of great things happening on that end. And I know that YWC also does a, um, a talk. Like, do they do monthly talks? Are they going to be starting out that, that pretty soon? Um, we're actually doing book clubs. Oh, cool. So it's, talks kind of turn into book clubs. I know there's one coming up. We're reading Michelle Obama's book, Becoming, in February. So check oh. that out on our Facebook. Yeah, Michelle Obama is yeah. definitely, like, on point when it comes to, you know, using her strengths. Totally. Yeah, it's like, I'm the first lady, but I'm nobody's first lady. I'm my own person. Right. Which is really cool. That's what I love about Michelle Obama. I can yeah. talk about it forever. But anyways, um, <laughs> what is the, uh, like, w w what is a good thing to leave on for, like, w like volunteers? Just something to think about, like, maybe, like, an anecdotal story from volunteering. Um, let's see. I think volunteering, I can't think of a, a story offhand, but, um, 
a success we've had in our recent one of our recent programs is um, you know, we put a lot of work into this program and we were struggling with getting um, participants there. But once we got people there and they had their second, um, this was through the GRIP program, they had their second workshop. Um, they were like, we want to hang out all the time. This is like, this is the best, so one of the participants said, this was the best weekend I've had in like so long. So just, I mean, I think that it can be um, an opportunity where you can kind of hear the effects that you're having. And so it can be really rewarding to work with yep. um, the young people. Nice. Probably as you know. So. Right. Of course. Yeah. yeah. I would. Yeah, definitely. I would know. Yes. Me. I know. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, um, once again, um, I, I got in contact with the YWCA by just going on their website, ywcaofmissoula.org. And, yeah, you just inquire about, like, just contact them and be like, hey, I, I want to be part of YWCA in some form. You can be part of them because there's so many different opportunities to volunteer with them especially with Guts, which uh, just had their orientation recently, but it's never too late to look for volunteers, right? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Scott. Anything else you want to say, or are we good? I think we're good. Awesome. All right, guys, uh, we'll be right back.